On this episode of the Atlanta Maker, we take a look at getting higher quality and faster acrylic engravings using defocusing. First, thanks to everybody for the fast subscriber growth. Less than 10% of our viewers are subscribers though, so please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell if you like our Glowforge content. Questions about defocusing when using acrylic pop up quite often in the Glowforge community and Facebook groups, so I wanted to run a few tests to really get an understanding of defocusing and the correct settings to use. First, let's talk about what defocusing is and why you'd want to do it. Most of us, when using our Glowforge, rely on the autofocus. When using the autofocus, the Glowforge shoots a laser down to the material surface, which determines the thickness of the material and sets the laser to focus directly on the material surface. This works great for cuts and scoring acrylic, but it leaves us with a less desirable result when engraving. For instance, look at this Dalek button surround I made as my first acrylic project using the default proof grade settings, which took around 23 minutes. You can see that the engraving is very rough and left a lot of ridges. It really was an ugly engrave. Generally we'd get around this by increasing the lines per inch of the engrave, but this can also increase the time it takes to engrave a design significantly. On this Dalek, if we did an HD engrave with the proof grade settings, it would take an hour and 42 minutes. But if we use defocusing, we can get a similar result in only 19 minutes and 15 seconds. I designed a test file to run several different focus and LPI settings on both 8th inch and quarter inch cast acrylic. You can download this file from the link in the video description if you'd like to run the same tests on your machine. The file has created the test three different focus settings along with three different LPI settings. This results in a nice 3x3 grid. I've gone ahead and set up the file in the Glowforge UI. But if you are trying this on your own machine, you'll have to set up each of the items as the settings do not transfer with the file. It's about a 12 minute project, so let's hit print and get it going. I think the results are fairly obvious as to why you'd want to defocus when looking at these test cuts. You can see that the autofocus engravings are pretty bad, but do get better with higher LPI settings. But the engravings on both the 0.2 and 0.3 focus settings are significantly better. So what did we learn from these tests? Here are my general rules for defocusing when engraving acrylic. For most engraves, you should set the focus height to 0.2 inches for 8th inch acrylic and 0.3 inches for quarter inch acrylic. You can control the depth of the engraving by changing your LPI. For instance, a 170 LPI defocused engraving is shallower than a 340 LPI defocused engraving. In our test, the 340 LPI engraving was slightly more than twice the depth of the 170 LPI engraving. Is there a drawback to defocusing when engraving acrylic? Well, there may be a loss of quality on a finely detailed engraving since the laser is going to be slightly wider. If you have a finely detailed engrave, you may want to run a test to make sure you like the results. So to wrap it all up, defocusing can give you a better quality engraving in less time for most acrylic projects. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more Glowforge content. See you next time.